safety is one of our priorities, but entertainment, let's have that sit top. So here is the lineup. I wonder whether the Finns, yet again, can capitalise on having an outside chance of a medal. We'll have Matilla on the last leg, who is an 800 silver medalist. As we said earlier, he was ranked 17th on season's bests. Ukraine going on the outside in lane eight. Kadoshuk was really strong in the heats to help them close in and qualify. Poland will be no surprise to hear that they won this title. 2013, 2017 on home soil in Bidgosh, and 2019 most recently the likes of Natalia Kazma. The French team have Louise Maraval, silver medalist in the hurdles earlier today. And then the Swiss with Katia Guberman, another who's uh, smashed her hurdles personal best in this competition. And then Spain, who won the silver medal at the under 20s in the 4x4 two years ago. Tends to be the same kind of generation that's graduated through. Germany from lane three. Tend to be stronger in the 4 wide one over the years in this competition. So Finland with uh, Salmanen, Wright, Aho and Matilla, who've all had a great championships compared to where you would have placed them in the rankings, thanks to amazing home support. Astrid Ertzgaard here, she was a finalist in the individual event, and her teammate Henrietta Jager on the last leg, getting the silver in the final, just behind Yemi Mary John of Great Britain with Keely Hodgkinson in the bronze spot. So it might be a surprise to you that there's no British team in this final. But who cares? Some wonderful athletes in this. Andrea Root also in that Norwegian quartet. Gold in the 400 hurdles. So in that event, we have all of the medalists. Norway, Finland, Germany, Spain, Switzerland, France, Poland and Ukraine. <laughs> Lovely to hear that roar from the supporters in the Lepavada Stadium. The floodlights are on now. But whose names will be lit up at the end of this women's 4x4 relay final? Poland going nicely on this first leg, and Kinga Gatska is very experienced. Part of the senior quartet that won World Indoor 4x4 bronze. Then running the heats in Munich, where they were the silver medalists. Such great athletes, of course, that she will have been surrounded by to learn from as part of the Polish relay program. If I listed them all, effectively the race might be finished by then. So instead, we'll let her hand over to Alexandra Formella. Terrific split that she ran in the heats. Look at this lead that the Poles appear to have at this point. She gets ready to hug the inside. Andrea Root is already there, of course, having started in lane one. High number of chases behind. The Swiss, the French, Spain and Finland all trying to join this party. On the final night, of these European under-23s. Well, Formella so focused she can do it with her eyes closed as we watch out for Katrina Wright of Finland. They all want to end these champs with a medal. Only three can do it, as we know. So, Horowska now has the baton. And then Julia Sen, who was fifth in the 400 final, and she came in ranked a little higher just outside the medals, so she wants to make amends. Spain looking good with Bianca Herbas. Then a bit of a gap back to Germany, and Norway just in front of them. So, is that breakaway gonna be decisive? Poland, Switzerland, and Spain. I was a little bit surprised that Switzerland didn't feature a little closer to the medals in the men's event. 
given how well drilled the relay team seem to be. Now handing over to this final leg. And Poland been very much closed down on that third one. Switz, the only quartet that can live with this pace now. Spain in third. Then France with Norway's Yoga, who was so, so close as she fell across the line. And trying to get that gold medal individually, of course. What can she do? Just off screen at this point, there she is emerging. It's always that athlete you don't realise is about to unleash a sensational finish down the home straight. And maybe Gubelman's going to do that too. Drasta Poland grits her teeth. Can she come back through on the inside? Is this going to be a four-way battle? Gubelman of Switzerland, surely going to seal this now. Maribel still there for France. Oh, my word. That is utterly insane. Maribel, who is coming down like a train in the individual race in the hurdles, getting the silver. And France have clinched it. That's ridiculous. Well, what a way to draw ourselves close to the conclusion of these championships by two hundredths of a second. That's going to hurt for Gubelman. Oh, wow. Spain getting that bronze medal. And Poland are out of it, having won this title three times in the last ten years, including a decade ago here in Finland end up in a cruel fourth place but for Maraval bringing them home she's the one that ultimately gets revenge having been just behind Andrea Ruth in the 400 hurdles final and of course she's a heptathlete converted to that event and to one lap so maybe no surprise that she has plenty of energy well, what an unbelievable performance from the French. I mean, they took over in that last leg in fourth place. And Louise Maraval brought them home in the gold medal position by just two hundredths of a second. Well, Switzerland, we're seeing set a national under-23 record. So too the Spanish, as we look at the highlights from that race. Yeah, this is the first changeover the fastest woman on this on the first leg was Kinga Gatka seeing a split of 52-17 and this is the last changeover as Yevas hands over to Avilas and for the French Toriel to Maraval and poor old Victoria Droz do you have to feel for her she just ran totally out of steam yeah, I mean, no disrespect to her, but perhaps it's interesting that Kinga Gatska, the most experienced of the Polish quartet with the senior medals, that she wasn't on the final leg to bring them home. And Formella, who was so brilliant in the heat, I think you mentioned at the time that she ran the fastest split of all. But Maraval, this time, is the one producing the heroics. And as a side note, Nikola Horowska, who ran the second fastest third leg time and kept Poland very competitive, handing over in second. She's run three rounds of the 200 metres. She's in the long jump final. She's dashed over to do this. She had the long jump qualifying. And now she produced a very, very good second leg for Poland, even if it wasn't good enough to put them into the medals. Yeah, maybe that was part of it, having those races in the legs.